Hi friends, this is Living Fit with Laura. This beautiful Mount Hood. I finished my workout and I'm going to have my sprint and my cool down. I'd like to encourage my friends to focus on the beauty. By thought, word, and deed, the music that we listen to, the TV that we watch, the books that we read, the friends that we associate ourselves with, the language that we use, whether it be expletives or the F-bomb, whether it be cursing or condemning our lives or others. I'd like to encourage you not to do that. This beautiful song from the Merry Widow, I Love You So, takes me back to my upbringing. My dad, Gilbert, was a class act, a PhD in physics, yet the most humble man, the kindest man. Not, he didn't have a mean or arrogant bone in his body. When he was betrayed by his best friend in the workplace, he forgave. When he was seriously ill with thyroid cancer and had to be traked, he still came up to my college graduation. He never ever complained or cursed his life. I'd like to encourage my friends to realize that we are cre our lives are created by our thoughts because what we think manifests in our lives. I'd like to encourage my friends to continue to seek the beauty Get out of the sun here. <laughs> There is so much beauty in the world. Of course there's sadness. Of course there is devastation and ugliness. And we don't want to live with our heads in the sand, but we also don't focus or feast on it. We must live well. We can continue to live well. We continue to soar as eagles, despite the ugliness in the world. We continue to forgive, not because a person deserves it, not because we deserve it, but because it is a gift to us, to our lives, to forgive. Our loving Creator wants us to forgive ourselves and others. Depression and mental illness, much of it is a manifestation of unforgiveness from years ago. I would like my friends to see the beauty of this world. We continue moving forward to those things that lie ahead, putting behind us those things that lie behind. We continue to focus on the sun, and when we're in the dark, what do we do? We turn the sun, we turn the light on. There is so much beauty in the world, we can truly be happy. We can have the wealth of joy. I have so much wealth because I am so joyous, because I have the peace that passes all understanding. I walk hand in hand with my Creator when I get up and when I sit down. I do not people please anymore. I forgive when I, over and over, when I come across that thought that makes me re realize that I have not forgiven. Let's all see life as sacred and live well, leaving a legacy of hope because hope is our favorite four-letter word. Living fit with Laura on this glorious day. Begin and stay, staying stable, serene, and strong. I'm proud of you. Keep it up.